The F-35B simply does things you've never seen a fighter jet do before. The technology is called Stovall, short takeoff, vertical landing. Once the jet starts moving, it doesn't take long to take off. Or land, looking more like a helicopter than a supersonic fighter jet. The F-35 is designed to be the military's next generation joint strike fighter. But it comes at a price. Ten years into the program, the cost of buying 2,400 jets has jumped to $385 billion. The Marines showed reporters the jet Friday at a Maryland test facility trying to make its case. The top Marine, General James Amos, acknowledges it's very expensive in a time of budget cuts, but says the Corps must have it. We need an airplane that can land uh, on a short runway or land vertically. We need an airplane that can take off very, very in short distance, fully armed, gassed. Um, if we don't have that, then we're restricted to long runways. The Pentagon put the F-35B on probation late last year after suffering through cost overruns and delays. Amos says things have changed since then, for the better, and he hopes decision makers are willing to keep putting up the money to give marine pilots what they need. Is, is the juice worth the squeeze? I mean, that's the question you've got to ask yourself, and we have to have that discussion at the, at the senior level of uh, leadership of our country. General Lamas says he's hoping to sit down soon with new Defense Secretary Leon Panetta to talk about the jet's future. He doesn't know exactly when that will happen, because like everybody else in and around Washington, Amos says the Pentagon's been a little preoccupied with budget talks. Sagar Magani Associated Press at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland.